Welcome to a healthy living video blog at workoutmaster.com. This is Ruben. And that is Aaron. Absolutely. Today, we're going to talk about eating right for your blood type or blood type diet, whichever you want to call it. Before we're going to talk about that, remember, the next episode is going to be about body scanners and airport, and Ruben is going to be happy to talk or rant about it as much as he wants to. Well, he likes him or something. He hates it just as much as I do. I don't know why he's part of it. I just, I just got a kick out of you talking about the okay. two minutes on the health thing. Okay, anyway, the previous episode you were talking about it, so he's going to have another chance next episode. What do you think about blood type diet? Um, it carries a lot, of to, a, a lot of truth to a certain degree. I don't believe that nowadays we can actually put people on the four, on the four categories that the blood type addresses, like you know the A types, the O types, ABs, etc. But I do think that they're pretty, pretty close uh, in relationship to what uh, blood type you are and what foods you might be intolerant or allergic or having reactions to. I've noticed that there's a very high correlation to that, uh, not only by, uh, it's not just anecdotal, it's being you know, a clinical you know, uh, observation, that when people have done the blood type you know, kind of you know, approach and then they have done you know, any type of testing like the MRT, or the Alcat, there's a very, very tight relationship. So there's got to be a lot of truth to it to a degree. But do I feel that, you know, all types should eat like the paleo diet pretty much or that the A types are more like the hunter and the gatherer where they have to, or more of that, you know, uh, eating more, you know, more fruits and vegetables and eating a, a lot less protein and being more inclined to eating grains and stuff like that? Absolutely not. I, I have to disagree with that because that's, that's not what I found out to, uh, to be my, my truth or my experience of that truth, mm -hmm. so I disagree with that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in general, anytime that comes uh, to diets, uh, we do definitely get a lot of questions from clients uh, asking us what we think. So my personal opinion, anytime a diet that kind of puts that box approach of four different diets, three different approaches, four different, it's very limited. Uh, I think as individuals we are quite complex. Uh, even though we live in the human category, there's a lot of humans out on this planet and everybody is unique and have a very unique requirements. So as a blanket approach, uh, it probably has as validity as any, any other diet. Absolutely. You know, if you want to just kind of like put a bunch of people in the same category and say, hey, you know, they're probably going to be doing good on that, that probably will work. Yeah. Now, if you truly want to work one-on-one -on -one, or you want to help yourself more than you don't want to think that you were just one part of the big group, if you want to truly think that you are unique, then I highly recommend to reconsider following a blood type diet and start thinking what actually you can do for yourself. And my, my thing is, I always say your body knows exactly what you need, you just need to learn from your personal experience and if you listen to any of our episodes you'll truly understand what we talk about and we talked about it quite extensively. Uh, yeah. I do agree with Ruben that it does have certain correlation to what you cannot eat so there's a different and valid opinion. I, I wouldn't say don't read the book, I would definitely say read a book, make your own decisions, extract some you know basic good information that you can extract out of it. Overall Use it if you have nothing else to use or it's too easy and your life is complicated and then this is something, the only thing you can actually install in your life. Uh, overall, not a big fan of it, sorry. No, I mean, it's not that I'm a big fan of it or, or not, that, that's not the point. But I, I do, uh, do want to clarify that if you, know, like, you, know, that if, if you were probably to work with any of those doctors, you know, I believe they were naturopathic uh, physicians, you know, um, they will do things very different that they oftentimes post in the book. They obviously, they use more tools that they have to their, to their advantage. So oftentimes, you know, following a diet that's stated in a book, it does not necessarily make that diet very effective for that individual. I'm saying this on the basis that when you work on, on a one-on-one on -on -one with these, with these uh, writers or these, you know, scientists or, or doctors or whoever they may be, they use very different approaches. So you realize that, that, that the diet that they're actually proposing on a book is somewhat di different than what, the, what they would very use much on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And, and it's, it's unfair to say whether I'm in favor or, or in disfavor of, of their blood type diet. 
there's a lot of things that are very, very valid, but at the same time, there's a lot of things that has a lot of holes. And in those holes, you can find yourself that a lot of people can fall through and make you know the diet less than effective. Uh, what I do want to clarify is that oftentimes there's many factors that can affect the way a person reacts to a food, and it not necessarily does it has to be because actually the blood type. There could be a number of other symptoms going in the body, from leaky gut syndromes to actually being overexposed to chemicals and heavy metals, and the person can have a complete different you know reaction to a food that they would otherwise. Very and, and that's and that's one of those characteristics that we have nowadays with people that we all in such a you know melting pot of, of population and at the same time we're all affected by some of the same symptoms and things get even more and more complicated Absolutely. and oftentimes we cannot see past those uh those specifics that actually they might be ailing us absolutely if i would practice any diet i would say i would probably call it a unique diet you're a very unique individual uh you have very unique requirements you do come from a very unique background and what you need, probably nobody else would need. So follow a unique diet instead of blood type. Anything else you want to say? I think that sums it up. All right, guys. Remember, your future looks better already. Stay tuned for our next episode about body scanners in airport. Thank you very much. Until the next time.